Hello, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis, where medicine and chemistry make perfect sense. Welcome back to my chemistry quick review playlist. In the last video, we talked about the periodic table, periodic trends, and we had gazillion questions with answers. Today, we'll talk about the diatomic elements. Elements are here because it's called the periodic table of the elements. Di means two. Atom means no division. What are these diatomic elements? They are elements that exist in a double atom. Look at this, oxygen, O2, N2, F2, Cl2, Br2, I2, H2. So without further ado, let's get started. Please watch the videos in this chemistry quick review playlist in order. Let's start by answering the question of the previous video. Write the symbol of the cation that has 24 electrons, 30 neutrons, and 3 plus positive charge. Please pause and try to answer this yourself. Let's do it. It's very easy. All you gotta do is go to the periodic table and think clearly. I have 24 electrons, but I am a cation with a three positive charge. What does that mean? It means that I lost three electrons. Now I have 24 and I lost three. So I began with 24 plus three equals 27. Now go to the periodic table and see element number 27. Who's that? Mr. Cobalt. And the symbol is CO, uppercase C, lowercase O. This neutral cobalt has 27 electrons. When it loses three, it will have 24 and it will become three positive, a positive cation. So let's write this here, cobalt three plus. And then what? Then I need to add the mass number. Number of protons plus number of neutrons. Number of protons equal the number of electrons in the neutral state, which means 27 protons, because we're not losing or gaining protons, we're losing or gaining electrons. So 27 protons will not change plus the number of neutrons, which is 30. And this will give me a mass number of 57. And that's your final answer. Remember my 10 commandments of chemistry? All about matter and energy. Matter could be pure or a mixture. The pure matter could be an element or a compound. If it has one type of atom, it is an element. Sometimes the element is made of one atom, as in sodium, but sometimes it's made of two atoms, as oxygen molecule. What's an element? It's the simplest form of a substance. We call it the periodic table of the elements. Oxygen, as an element, is only made of oxygen atoms. Sodium, as an element, is only made of sodium atoms, etc. How many? Well, it could be monoatomic or diatomic. Today we're talking about the diatomic elements. The nucleus is in the center and it's positively charged because it has positive protons and neutral neutrons, but the electrons are negatively charged and they are outside the nucleus. Neutrons are neutral, they do not carry a net charge, their mass is significant. Protons, positive charge, significant mass. Electrons, negative charge, no significant mass, almost nothing. So let's rearrange our particles in order of their size. The biggest will be the atom and the smallest will be the electron. Atom is followed by the nucleus, then the proton. Protons are larger than neutrons, which are larger than electrons. Next, let's arrange them by mass. Neutrons are heavier than protons, and electron mass is almost nothing. Let's review their charges. Protons, positive one. Electron, negative one. Neutrons, neutral, which means zero. Next, let's compare among the neutral atom, the anion, and the cation. What's an anion? It's a negatively charged ion. Perfect. And why are you negatively charged? Because I gained an electron. Oh, let's talk about that. You gained an electron, right? So you're getting bigger. How about a cation? Well, they call me cation because I lost an electron. For example, sodium used to be 2 eight, one. These are shells, not subshells. If sodium lost this one electron in the outermost shell, now sodium will shrink because the outermost shell is now history. So sodium is shrinking. That's why the cation is smaller in size than the neutral atom, which is smaller than the anion. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, I want you to pause this video and recall the definitions of stability, octet, Valence electron, valence shell, cations and anions. 
metals, non-metals, and semi-metals. As for today, we'll talk about diatomic elements. How about the periodic trend? See the previous video. And don't forget all of these arrows. Very important for your exam. And on to today's topic, diatomic elements. Let's break this down. An element made of two atoms, such as here's an oxygen atom and here's an oxygen atom giving me O2, which is an oxygen molecule. If I'm breathing right now, what kind of oxygen is getting into my nose? Is it oxygen atom or oxygen molecule? It's the molecular oxygen that's getting into my nose. Because in nature, the diatomic elements always come in pairs of two atoms. What are these diatomic elements? Oxygen, nitrogen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and hydrogen. Mnemonic time, Hunkelbrief. Hunkelbrief. Hey, medicosis, this sucks. Do you have something better? Yes, there is a better mnemonic. I want you to look at the nitrogen, the oxygen, the fluorine, the chlorine, the bromine, and the iodine or iodine. I can literally take my pencil and draw a seven right here. Oh, this is neat. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, all of these are diatomic elements. But you forgot one, this doofus right here hydrogen is included. So we have hydrogen and you draw the seven. Nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Don't forget my hydrogen. And on to today's question. Can you write the symbol for the compound known as potassium phosphide? Let me know your answer in the comment section. You'll find the answer key in the next video in this chemistry quick review playlist. I do not just teach chemistry, biochemistry, biology. I also teach medicine, including pharmacology. Are you struggling to learn about these graphs and math equations of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics? Zero order elimination versus first order order elimination, then download my general pharmacology course at medicosisperfectgenetics.com. It will help you make sense of all of this so that you can help your future patients. There are more than 1,500 free videos on this channel, but if you want more than 300 premium videos, click the join button and subscribe to the highest tier. Go to my website to download my notes, courses and cases, or if you'd like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard, this is Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense.